Hello and welcome to the instructional video on installing your Sierra Hotfix software. Okay, so Sierra Hotfix software is a very secure piece of software. Okay, it's a professional apparel decorating software. And it's not just a click here, click here, next, and I'm done installation. Like if you were to just download um, any you know, particular piece of software on the internet. There is a little bit of a process and it's not hard but you need to do it correctly to make sure that you get everything done right for uh, the installation of the software and the ability to get it working up and running. So now we're gonna take care of that right now. And I wanna make sure that you've got a few things on hand, okay? First, have that box, okay? It should say Sierra right on the front, on the back, in the corner, it should say Hotfix. That's your software. Inside there, there are three important things. There is a little card. Okay, I'm going to show you what that card looks like. The card looks just like this. There's a serial, a B code, and a W code. These are three very important things. Those three things are also going to be on the what we call the dongle. Okay, my dongle's red. Your probably is too. Um, and on one side of it, it has a little design error, and it says my code's right on there. And actually, they match the card. The first thing I'm going to do is you can actually, since you've got it in your hand, you can just pop this thing in the USB. And your computer might make a noise. It probably won't do anything. Um, and that, or it might just say something was plugged in. No big deal. What could happen and what is going to not help you uh, get this installation done right is you may get your, if you have a firewall or a virus protection software or malware or anything like that, it might see this device or any USB you ever put in ever, um, and it might try to block it or say, do you want to, this will allow to you know, be allowed on your computer? You want to make sure that you allow this. So pay attention and don't just click the X if something pops up. Read what it says. You want to make sure you allow this thing to be connected to your computer. Let's move on to actually getting our password code that is really important so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up my uh, google chrome firefox explorer edge safari whatever you got uh, probably not safari because this is a windows computer so i'm going to open up a new window and i am going to put in d dash era dot com slash services that's going to bring you here, okay? Get your system password file first time. This is your first time, so let me show you how to do this, okay? Take out that card right now, and we're going to type these numbers in. I'm going to blur mine out, and then type those in. Once you're done, click on login. That's going to bring you to this page right here. This page gives you two things, okay? One is the password file that everyone is going to need. So since everyone needs this, let's just do it real quick. Click open here next to your password and click on download password. When you download it, it's going to do something like that more than likely. It might ask you where you want it to download. You already may have it preset to download to the downloads folder in your computer. Uh, it might download to your desktop. It might download to your documents. Know where that is going to go because you're going to have to find it later. If you don't know where it goes in your own Chrome or Firefox, most of them will have an option where you can click and hit show in folder or view file. So here's the file that I just downloaded. It matches this file right here. I'm going to need to know where that is. Pay attention to it. Okay. So now we will, I'm going to close this because I don't need it now. The second thing to mention is you may have a computer without a DVD drive, but you've got a disc. Well, what am I supposed to do? They've, they've already thought about that, and so have we. Um, so you're going to click on Open Here, okay? Download Design Error. Now, another thing to mention is I'm on version 15. Most likely, you are going to be too. If after this video comes out, they come out with version 16 or 17, and nothing changes, uh, I might, you know, we might not update the video at that moment, especially if all, the whole installation process is the same. So if you have version 15, or version 11, if you have an older copy maybe even, and you're reinstalling on a computer, the instructions should be the same 
Um, if they are different, we will make notes, we'll make new videos, etc. But what I want you to do now is it'll say, this download is not necessary in case you already have the installation CD for version 15, right? Um, but if you don't have a CD player, then it doesn't work either, does it? So um, go ahead and click download files. That's going to download what's basically called a downloader. So it's a secure way of them downloading the file. So it's just going to download a piece of software that allows you to download the rest of the software. This should only take a couple seconds. Show that in the folder. And there's my downloader. Okay. Then I want you to double click this file. When you double click this one, it's going to open up a screen that looks like this. Okay. And um, I knew it was going to take me about 15 minutes. So I started about 15 minutes ago and actually my timing was impeccable because we're 99% done right when I'm recording this. Uh, that gets me excited uh, and in a good mood for this video. So let's see. Okay. Download complete. Remember that if, if you're downloading the software and um, you click that, downloader it's probably going to take you 15 minutes it may be faster if you have a faster internet connection than me it might be slower if you have a slower internet connection to me than me so click on that it'll give you an estimated time take a coffee break make a phone call take care of something allow that to happen on your own pause this video now and come back when the downloader is completed from this point i'm going to click install now but i have the dvd what do I do? Everything's fine. All you do is now, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to tell you what to do. Put the DVD in. Close it up. More than likely, it's going to open up an auto run. That's most of the time what Windows does. It'll bring up an auto run. It's going to ask you what you want to do. You're going to, you have a dongle key in your computer, and it's going to say, how, what are you going to install? And one of them is going to say dongle mode, because you've got a dongle. So click on that. Then, um, the next thing it might ask you what you're gonna install, which it's gonna ask me here too. We're gonna install Hotfix Era, right? That was on the back of your box that we looked at earlier. It said Hotfix Era in the corner. You've got a, a rhinestone or spangle or brush and bake system, right? So we are going to install that. So you choose that. And it should basically, we should kind of, we should be near the same spot right now, okay? Just in case you're not, I will show you one other thing. Okay, so you go to your, D if you did not auto run, let's just say this auto run, it didn't run, you plugged it in, I put my DVD in, nothing happened, that's fine. Uh, go to this PC, your PC, my computer, whatever it's called, choose the DVD drive, you should see the little orange logo, go to the install folder, scroll down, and choose this setup. It says application, type application, it says setup, and what that's going to do is do this okay so now everybody should be in this spot right now um, or close to this spot if you put the dvd on you click next next eventually you're going to get to this install shield wizard and it's going to ask you to install and you're going to hit next so we're going to go next license um you know this warning is important all right, right here it says that your installation process may fail. Your, your software program may fail. Uh, this application uses advanced technologies to protect against piracy. Some antivirus programs detect false positives, okay, where they mark a file as a virus when it isn't. And the installation process or part of it can fail. If the installation process fails or you have an error, but if whatever you have, look for it down here usually somewhere. Um, you might have Windows Defender, you might have McAfee, you might have Malwarebytes, you might have Norton Antivirus, you might have AFV, or there's a ton of them out there. Before continuing the installation, disable antivirus, disable firewall. Just do this temporarily, temporarily turn it off um, so that you can allow your software or make sure that everything is allowed officially if you, if you are more savvy. After the installation is done, enable it all back, okay? You want to keep your computer safe. Hopefully, we are past this now, right? <laughs> um, let's click Next. What are we going to install? We're going to install Hotfix Era. We've already determined that. Okay. How are we going to install it? We have a dongle. Requires a USB protection device, which is plugged in, right? You did it earlier. So did I. Click Next. 
Now we need a password file, okay? Load the password file corresponding to your product serial number. We downloaded that first thing because I knew I was gonna ask for this. Uh, so we downloaded that before, click load. I downloaded it to my downloads. You may have downloaded it to your desktop or your documents or somewhere else, I don't know, but know where you put it. It's this file here that ends in SPP. Click open. Now you've got this set, click next. You, we've basically done the hardest part. Um, so let's move along. To set up a uh, design error in the following folder, generally, you know, most people will just allow the software to install where it wants to, but you can change your destination folder if you need to or want to. Um, I wouldn't, but it's okay. Click next. It's gonna ask you the name of the folder. You can click next here or make changes there if you like. Um, do you want to create a desktop shortcut? Why not? I only have like 400 things on my desktop already. We have to add one more. Um, or you can click no. It doesn't matter. Um, it's up to you. My desktop is nice and clean on this computer, so I'm going to put it on there. Um, so in the end, I can easily access it. Click next. Set up as uh, it's you know, setup has enough information to start copying the program files. If you want to review or change any settings, click back. So click next. Design era is configuring your new software installation. If you did not need to download the software before and you have the CD or DVD, then you maybe didn't take a coffee break or didn't go get a glass of water or make a phone call. Um, now might be a good time to do that. Um, this does take not too long, but a few minutes. You know, it's software installation. So um, I'm going to come back in a minute because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get a glass of water and take a break from installing the software. So we'll hang tight and we're going to come back as soon as it is uh, at the end. Okay, so Installation Shield Wizard is complete. The setup has finished installing Design Era on your computer. Success. So we're going to click Finish, and I'm going to get out of here. I have read the user license agreement, and don't ask me about it again. Yes, I accept it. Okay, license activation. To continue using the system, you have to complete the activation process. Click next. Send an activation request. Okay. Click next. All right, it's going to give a bunch of information that you need to fill out. It already knows it about me. So it's already filled it out, but put in your um, your name, company address, city, state, county, email, put your email in again. Computer, you can name it. You can name your computer so you know what, your, uh, what computer it is because you can install this on multiple computers. You cannot use it on these different computers without that key that's plugged in. Look on the side of your computer in the back. You see that key? You need that. It will not work without that. So I can install this on my laptop like I'm doing now, and I can also install, install it on my desktop, which I already have it. But I cannot use it on my desktop right now because the USB key is plugged into this laptop. Vice versa, when I go to take this key out and I put it in my desktop and I bring my laptop with me somewhere, my software will not open or work because I do not have my key with me and plugged in. You need that hard key the dongle for the software to work on that computer at that moment. So I can have it installed on multiple computers, but whatever computer is using it is the one it needs to be plugged into. Now it's going to connect with the activation server. It says it takes a few minutes. Generally, it's pretty quick. Your design era license is activated. Finish. Now that we're activated, I'm going to open it up. Here we go. We're good. So, product, hotfix era. This is it. We are ready to start doing all the awesome things that you want to do 
with your Sierra Hotfix Era software. So get ready to create some awesome bling designs and we will talk about how to use this software in some other videos. Thank you.